What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another LEGO set review on the Spider-Man Far From Home movies Molten Man Battle. I gotta give a big thanks to LEGO for making this review possible and sending out this sample over here to review for you guys. And this is looking very cool right over here. I do like all this translucent plastic that it looks like we're gonna be seeing. And you can see there's a fireman right over there. Single-handedly defeating Molten Man, right? Is he gonna do it? I don't think so. Anyway, on the side, not much going on. On the back, you can see some more product shot and you can see some accessories along with some functions right there and then on this side you can see spider-man on the very top you can see night monkey and then not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open and watch charlita get building Comics in the parking lot When the doors are locked You best get out of my way And I don't care what a will say And I don't care when the strangers look When they see me grab a fingers off the hook And the little kid should have got there first Cause the early bird always gets the work So I throw the fingers in the shopping cart I'm gonna take them home I'm gonna rip them apart I'm gonna play with my toys today 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 Well, I don't care what the strangers say I'm gonna play with my toys today <laughs> And I don't care what the doctors say I'm gonna play with my toys today Ha 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 So it took about two hours for Charlita One to put everything together, and I'll talk about the build a little bit more later on. Uh, but first off, here's the firefighter looking pretty good. I like the helmet right there, and looking really cool right over here with this vest. So nice deco throughout, and this fire hydrant is not going. Or this uh, fire extinguisher is not really going to do the trick, man. I don't think you're going to really get a whole lot done. But hey, he's trying. And then here's looking on the back, and then you cannot switch the face around. There's no expression on the back of the head. Uh, we get the same exact Mysterio that. We've seen with the last two building sets. So you can see we get the cloth cape and everything, the silver head inside the clear dome, and then you get the function where you can push these down and they fly out. And then we have Night Monkey looking awesome. Uh, I like this little Night Monkey. It's got a lot of gray though. I think it could have used a lot more black than gray, but I still really like how the head came out right over here. There's the back of his mask. So yeah, pretty cool looking Night Monkey. And then he has all these accessories right here. You get this clear piece that you want to put through the hand so you could attach that to webbing. So you get the same kind of webbing accessories that we saw with the other pieces. And Shirley One kind of put these all together to make this large webbing going on right here. Which is kind of neat so you can get creative with it, you know. Add some pieces to these hinges and everything. You get these smaller pieces right here as well. You also get the web handcuffs right there. Another web sticking out. And this one right here. So here's looking at the head sculpt or the deco for the head sculpt on 
Molten Man, which looks pretty film accurate for a Lego. I mean, compared to the uh, Molten Man from the Build-A-Figure Marvel Legends line, you know what I mean? It, this is a more realistic look, and this is a very cartoony look right over here. But I do like it. I like the variation of colors that we're seeing right there. So it does look great. It does reflect light quite a bit, so you can see a lot of hot spots right there. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, there's a lot of clear plastic on this, and I love that. They have these little painted gold bits throughout over here. I think that looks awesome. Nice looking deco right here. And throughout on the figure, you're just going to see pieces of street and just other items just getting gobbled up by all this molten lava walking around. So you can see that we get this cool looking chain right over here. I dig that. Uh, the hand right here on the right side looks really good, or it's more like a claw. You get all these fingernails right there, so I think that's pretty nifty. And coming back up through the torso, you can see this damaged car right there. So that's really cool. It's supposed to only have one headlight. And then looking on this side, you can see some signs and lamp posts stuck to them. I don't know, I guess this is like no uh, no boating or something, I guess. And then on this side you have that giant arm that we see. And this one actually has a whole function going on with it. And you can see the chain attached to it too. So I think that's pretty nifty. Uh, but you can see all these little clear pieces. And when you rotate this, whoa, they just fire out. So I don't know where that went, but I'm going to demonstrate some more. And fire, fire, whoa, whoa, okay, they're going all over the place. But yeah, as always, uh, you know, that stuff, you know, works really well. And this piece just came off on me. And then looking at the lower torso, you can see more of that translucent orange plastic. And then looking at the legs right here, they look really good. And then you get some more of the translucent plastic with the gold over them. I remember when Charlita One was building it, uh, she couldn't really tell at first exactly like which piece was what, because this is very similar to this one. It just has gold painted over it. So looking at the instructions, tripped her out a little bit. And there was one piece missing. She used some extra pieces from a previous build. And yeah, it was just like a black square piece like that. But she was able to substitute with some other pieces. You can see the back right over here. And you get this whole eye beam right over there sticking out from the back looking really cool with some deco on top of it as well. So we get some interesting things going on with our articulation. You can turn the head side to side and he will look up, well, I guess all the way back, uh, but not downward. And you can grab the face. You're going to pinch this right here and you can rotate the face side to side. Uh, the eye beam can swing around, so that's cool. You can move it backwards if you'd like. And then same thing with this uh, light post, or not light post, but sign. You can move this up and down. You can move this light post up and down. This whole street sign thing with the light uh, you can move this up and down as well. Uh, you also have these shoulder pads and these can move up and down and you can rotate them and move them back. Uh, you have shoulder joints that move up that far and down. You can rotate forward and rotate back and I just knock this off right over here. And you could rotate right there. You could rotate ball joint right there at the elbow. It bends in quite a bit. And same thing on this side over here but we get the added claw so you get individual finger articulation so I like that. No torso articulation. You can move the legs outward very far and you can rotate them forward. I tend to knock these little, you know, drooping molten pieces off sometimes, so that's frustrating. They'll move back. You could rotate side to side up here. And then you get a ball joint at the knee where it could bend in and out and rotate side to side and even pivot. Now measuring out this molten man, you can see that it's standing at about seven and a half inches tall. And then here's molten man next to the hydro man that came from the hydro man set. And then we have the Stark Jet. And then for your molten man comparison, we have the Lego molten man next to the Marvel Legends build a figure molten man. And thanks for letting me know you guys about the I beam going into the arm. I didn't know about that. And then here's Molten Man next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So this is not a bad Molten Man building set. I think there's a lot of fun things going on here on just the Molten Man alone. You know, we got all these pieces that you can move around, a lot of details throughout. I like the translucent plastic. I like the gold paint over the translucent plastic. We get some good functionality over here. And I like the characters that it came with, even though I think the firefighter is a little ridiculous, but still, I think it's a pretty fun set. And I'm gonna give this a sun rating of it's not too bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you like this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already. And a big thanks to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel. And for all of you, stay tuned. Later today, I will have a review on the Marvel Legends Nightcrawler, so look out for that. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, be sure to check out MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me over on the social media on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. 
Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.